Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of Mega Man X Hard Type. So, uh, theoretically onto the single stages, but re in reality not yet. I'm gonna use the spec thing, because I need to go back and fi find some of the stuff that I never found earlier to have a chance at this, uh, these stages I'm uh, assuming at any rate. So, uh, I found a lot of the stuff. Let's see, I went to Chill Penguin first. There was a hit tank, and I, I did find that. Yay, HP bonus! Um... Wait, Stink Chameleon was next, Storm Eagle was next, so... I found... I found the hit tank, but that was it. Jump! Jump for the skies! Ooh, I made it! Free HP bonus! That was the only thing I found. I really did not explore that second half thoroughly, so... I'm really thinking that... I'm really hoping that some of the stuff will be there. If it's even at similar places to vanilla, though, I did find the sub-tank in vanilla. That's one of the few things that I actually found in vanilla, so... I might know-ish where that is. I actually found the helmet, too, for that matter, so... Um... Sting Chameleon. We have... Hit Tank. I found that. I remember jumping through the, uh... Maple Syrup there to to get to it. Got it. Oh, man. <laughs> I guess it wasn't as much of a puzzle as I thought, but it looked like there was a couple ways to... Oh, I'm dead. And, uh... But the body parts. That's a really useful one to have, so I better find that when I go back to get it. Alright, uh... Who is next? I did... Oh, wait, I forgot I did Chill Penguin. Oh, wait, yeah mentioned him already. Uh, Armored Armadillo, we have Hit Tank, Sub Tank, and I don't know. <laughs> that last thing. Sub Tank is the only Sub Tank I've found thus far. Well, now let's see, is there anything behind you? Aha! Found a thing. I, I actually found something. It's amazing. And the Hit Tank I also found. Yay, HP power up and now I'm dead. <laughs> Works for me though. So all I'm missing is that question, 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 and I I'm interested to know what that is. <laughs> Must be something pretty good. If it's being so secretive about it. Next up is uh, Spark Mandrill. We have uh, I found absolutely nothing in your stage, vanilla or this game. So uh, this could be nasty. Wow, that that just rips him to shreds. Holy cow! We also have uh, Flame Mammoth, I think, was next. Ah, there was a... Oh no. What? Did I find anything in his stage? I don't think I did. A parts? I don't even know what A parts is. <laughs> I'm not even sure what the A stands for. And, uh, Launch Octopus? I found your hit tank, and that's all there is, so yay, I'm clear this stage. I don't see this being a wacky alternate route. Yes, it's an HP power-up. I thought so. And Boomer Kawanger, do you only have a hit tank as well? Because that's all I found. Okay. Wow, uh, that wasn't nearly as tight as I thought it would be. Which is why I was going way too early. Yes, okay, so I have three stages complete. Launch Octopus, Chill Penguin, and Boomer Kawanger. I guess I should start going back through them in somewhat of an order. Storm Eagle is going to be first. I'm not sure how this episode is going to go for the editing, as far as the editing is, is concerned, because, uh, you know... I, I mean, this is just going to be... I mean, I forgot you existed. Whatever. Don't care. The, the editing is going to be really weird for this episode, because... I, I don't really know how long it's going to take me to do anything in particular. I just have to comb every corner of the stage and hope that things work out. I can probably use the blade cutter here. Well, I wasted like half of them, but uh, it worked eventually. Oh, I see cut off at the back end there, and this hack will not be accepted by Super Mario Central.net. Joking, that's kind of a running gag with that place. Actually, it isn't really cut off anyway. <laughs> It's just that the graphics set isn't super well equipped to handle that, I don't think. And the backs of the buildings, obviously, because no one really cares about those. So I already went down here. Is it worth going back? Uh, yeah, it just looked like Sky. I mean, 
I don't think there's anything here. I'm gonna die again. I don't really see what that accomplished, but... Airport! 1001. Where are the other 1,000 airports, Heart Hunt? Too lazy to program in the game, huh? <laughs> can I go up here? Hmm, I can. Ooh, this is uh, ish where the sub tank wasn't vanilla. I'm getting. Yes, there we go. Well, that went smoothly. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I forgot how that works. Oh, rats. Forgot again. Making the same mistakes as before, because it's been a while since I played the level the first time. What's the second level I played? Case to return for me to get it back, but. Storm Tornado on the Eagles on stage. <laughs> hey, uh, took out a second guy, two for one deal. Local Quickie Mart. Here we go. Alright, so as long as I don't jump, I'm just gonna remember how things went before. Jump past that, jump onto this one. That one has no enemy. And shoot the thing. Okay, made it. Same deal as before, I think. Two deaths? No, just lame. Wasn't this. It was something like this to get the helmet parts before. Something like that thing. Helmet parts would have been useful on another stage, uh, I think it was, uh, I, this is the way I went last time, so let's go the other way this time. Hmm. Alright, doesn't look like I can make that. It looks like I can make that one, though. I just seem to be a little higher up on the platform. There we go. Shoot the thing, and let's hope this is, uh... Aha! Found you! Hello, Dr. Light. This capsule contains an enhancement for your helmet. The most useful enhancement in the game, I'm sure. Which will allow you to break some ceilings. Definitely way more useful than that cruddy armor upgrade, I have to say. Think of it as a giant... <laughs> That's definitely not what he said last time, right? I'm not going insane here. That, that's what I around added in, right? Uh, yeah, so I can break ceilings now. It makes a crazy rumbling noise. Oh, I can jump off the capsule. Yeah, I got to break it all. That's an accomplishment. I can exit the stage. If I die once, I'll exit the stage. But for now, I'm just gonna go to the end just for kicks. I don't even think I get to fight the boss again. This is... I'm probably just gonna end the level here or something. Oh, I do get to fight the boss again. That wasn't in vanilla, was it? Right, my face. Oh well, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just gonna restart the level. As you can probably tell, I was not putting the most utmost of effort into it. Escape! You! Escape.U. The greatest weapon in my arsenal when it comes to beating Storm Eagle. So, that went very well, actually. Took 13 minutes, let's just drop my save state here. Alright, so Storm Eagle is now complete. So I have half of them done now. Hmm, so which stage did I stink chameleon? Let's go here next. It was up here-ish. 
But I can't get up here like this now. I can't just... I can't wall jump up here, so... Hmm. Could there... I mean, could it have anything to do with letting this guy hit me up here? That seems a little far-fetched, but... I figure I should at least give it the benefit of the doubt before I... No, he doesn't even come over here. Hmm, so what could this be? Could it have anything to do with anything I've got in my inventory? It doesn't seem like it. Maybe I have to take a different route to get to the same place sort of thing. Yeah, muscle memory's not in my head anymore. Yeah. the dash noise, but it didn't actually dash. There we go. Alright, now this should be so much easier now. Hmm. Breaking that did not do anything. I was... When I saw that, I was like, oh, this is perfect, it probably unlocks a secret passageway, but no, it just uh, hit my head and it does nothing. Breaking. I see something up there for sure. It definitely looks like the same area from before. But whether that was just left the same, because it's not being used anymore, I don't know. Let's break this. Aha, I see a tunnel. Oops. Knowing that the secret uh, was in vanilla is kind of helpful. Uh, I'm not going to have that advantage on Spark Mandrill stage. You know, dashing doesn't make me go any higher, so it's not. Here I need to get the distance outward, though. <sighs> I found a thing. Oh, wow, this is cramped. This is a lot more cramped than before. Can he even make it down into that area at the bottom? I wonder. Okay, I can only shoot your head, can't I? You can only attack leftwards, good to know. Alright, I might be able to cheese this with the blade cutter somehow. Oh, this isn't working. <laughs> I also don't know how to make the blade cutter go in the way I want it to do. Oh, uh, that, I got one hit off. I guess it has something to do with my momentum going upwards, I don't know. Whatever, this is getting me free hits, so I'm not going to complain, even if half of them did miss. Uh, so let's try the forming torpedo. Does it go home to the right place? Oh, uh, yes it does. And it just uh, hits straight through his... No, it doesn't hit straight through his defenses. Well, uh, you can hit him with a shot to the privates, that's good to know. <laughs> can I hit you with sea sting? Ow. Well, like that, I can't. It does a lot of damage, too. Yeah, I'm kind of running out of options here, so I'm going to probably have to fight him a little bit more legitimately soon. This seems to be working as well. Having all the weapons already makes this fight a little bit easier. And now let's go with Shotgun Ice. All my weapons that have some capability of attacking upwards, and I expended all my ammo, but it was enough, in fact. Well, I fell down here. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. Just what I was hoping for. It will reduce damage to your systems by 25%. Less than vanilla, but it should hopefully be enough. Goodbye, Dr. Light. Hello, body armor. Oh, uh, that, that was the only thing you get from this stage, right? I'll do the same thing as I did before. Just give it one fair go. Probably rushing it and making a lot of dumb mistakes like before. Well, uh, you fell off. Oh, uh, that didn't work. <laughs> well, I forgot the button to get out of it, <laughs> which doesn't help a lot when you're falling down a hole. Not quite nearly as good as that stupid horse for jumping off of, that's for sure. Escape.u, and we're out of here.
was just gonna double check for a second that I was not wrong about missing something in that stage. Nope, Stink Chameleon. Done, and d dinner. 23 minutes, this is still going okay. Got five of the eight stages done, but this is where it's gonna start picking up a little because now thing... Not, first of all, I have absolutely no clue where either of these things are, and second of all, the stages are gonna start picking up in terms of actual difficulty. Then again, I do have the armor upgrade now, which should uh, actually make this a little bit more breeze. So it looks like there could be something back there, but I don't see how I could possibly make that jump. This is one of those, ow, songs that sticks in your head a little. Alright, so I'm gonna jump down here. Well, uh, that's not a way to do anything. <laughs> I know that once I get the upgraded ice shot, I can ride platforms. That's one of the things I actually did figure out in vanilla. Ow. It looks like there's a spot up here where one can theoretically hide a secret, but I'm not sure how I'd actually get in there. Yeah, there's something shooting to the left, it almost looked like. Or was that from somewhere else? I don't know anymore. <laughs> I really hope I haven't missed anything so far, because I do not see anything that I could have grabbed. Could there be something down here? Once I go down the below the lower edge of the screen, though, I start to think I'm probably just gonna die, not find something. But until I go below that lower edge, it could still scroll, because I know the scrolling in this game does that. And that's interesting, I can kind of back out of the boss room here. but I can't actually hit him until I enter the boss room, so... Well, he's dead. Music decided to die too, apparently. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything up there. I can't get to the middle. I mean, it's obvious... I'm <laughs> thinking too much Mario here. It can't really be a warp pipe now, can it? But, uh, down here... We're in an awkward position, so I'm gonna storm turn into your face, but let's check down here. I don't think these guys respond, do they? If they do, I'm in for a nasty surprise. Well, at any rate, my uh, power of de- Oh! I see- I see something! I totally missed that the first time through the level, even though it's clearly within sight. But how do I get it? Well, that works. I don't know. I wasn't sure if Metal Blade would actually do that, but it did. Was that the intended solution? The world may never know. Oh, and also there's probably gonna be more of those... Yep. Snipe me this time. And this time it actually made a difference because I was pretty much dead from my poor planning. Well, that was... Some pretty good playing. Oh man, I missed it. Wherever it is, I missed it. Oh, you jerk. I missed it somewhere. Where could it possibly be? It can't be in the boss room. That's not that much I'm fairly confident in. Yeah, as usual, for some reason, I failed to dash in this boss fight. Oh, whoops, that didn't work. I was just checking if you can dash jump uh, off ladders there. Long story short, you can't. It really doesn't look like you can make it back that far. Not with the speed that Mega Man falls downward. See, he falls like a rock. Oh wow, I just realized <laughs> that sounds like a really horrible pun, but it was totally not intentional at all. Getting too... rushing it too much. I may get to the mini-boss. I'm probably just gonna admit I have no clue where it is. Yeah. I just can't think of where it would be. I'm just gonna exit from the level. If I need it, I'll go back and look for it again. Other than that, I'll call it quits for the moment. 
Armored Armadillo, found two of the things in your stage, but that question, 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 question eludes me. You're one of two stages I have left at this point. I don't know. I have one last thing to try. And it didn't work. I, I'm totally lost. I don't see where it could be. I just feel like I could go through that level five or six times and not see where it is. One more to, stage to check out. Uh, how many things were there here? There are three, so I better find at least one or two. Especially because I want to know what that A is. It can't be armor. Clearly B stand stood for body. What body part could A stand for? Except for the obvious vulgar <laughs> possibility. Arms? Arms could make sense. Hmm, what could do that do for me at any rate? Would it help me figure out any other secrets? It sounds like it would help me lift something, maybe like uh, Gutsman Power, if it is arms. Hmm. I'm not sure I accomplished anything worth saving. Well, I want to save the death counter anyway. But I better explore this stage really carefully, which is going to be a pain, because this is the hardest stage I... Oh. Well, the helmet helps me out. Alright, let's focus more on getting through the stage with enough HP to explore the rest of it, because otherwise... I'm not going anywhere, am I? Strong. Why did I do that first? Did I actually use Storm Training for this? I thought I recalled using the Mega Buster, but if I have an advantage, I should use it. Ah, you douche. Just had to get that parting shot in, didn't you? Alright. I can't even jump to break it. Ah, well, I guess I'm not using that now. I guess I am using that now. Alright, that's this is something that I'm gonna need the storm trio for. There we go. Wipe everything. I noticed after I beat Flying Van Mammoth and Vanilla, all the lava disappeared. But that doesn't seem to have happened here, which is unfortunate, because that would make exploring this a lot easier. Oh yeah, I had to stand on the other guy before. Forgot. Oh well, HP power up. Anything down here? Could there be anything down here? Still haven't. Aha! There's definitely a passageway up there. No. Hmm. There's something. Oh, there can be invisible. There can be go through walls like this. That is a good thing to know. That means I should really try running into walls that appear solid a little bit more. Wow, this is a tiny capsule room. <laughs> X, this capsule contains an enhancement for your... Oh, X Buster? <laughs> Allowing you to charge your weapons... Uh, couldn't I do... Isn't that something that happens in vanilla when... Hmm. Isn't that happened in vanilla anyway, though, when you get the pink shot thing? Or... Did Heart Hunt add in an extra capsule? <laughs> power of the 80s. Are you talking about the Power Glove? Because <laughs> that would be a pretty good arms upgrade. Not. Maybe Heart, because Heart, maybe Heart Hunt had an extra capsule available because of uh, the fact that the dash boots are given automatically. Curious as to exactly how this goes. Mega Man gained haste status, and his gloves turned from white to blue. Oh, I can I can do the. How, how do you do that extra jump thing? So I don't get it at the same time as I did in Vanilla.
Hmm, so if I press the button right when I release... It seems to be kind of tight, though. I sure wouldn't want to use this in any life-threatening situations. But you know, if I can get the timing down... Seems pretty neat. Alright. But you know... The other thing... That gives me an extra jump for that thing in the uh, Spark Mandrel stage. Something worth checking out? Uh, that's for sure. But pro if I can use the ice, the shotgun ice <laughs> instead, that would obviously be a better option. So I don't remember what my charge shots were with the other weapons. I'll explore when I get to the checkpoint in this level. Slash, if I get to the checkpoint in this level. That was probably the most important thing. An HP power-up in the at this point is, let's be honest here, is probably going to seem like a drop in the bucket. Oh, that was a good way to die. I didn't hit the checkpoint, I don't think. No, I'm back at the start. A little bit of extra charging ability. Oh, I shot it all the wrong way. Good thing I got all this uh, new pow found power to shoot it in the wrong direction. This is at an hour, but it's still not breaching my longest segments yet, so I'm still kind of pleased with this. I was worried this segment would turn out to be hours long or something, and I'd have to split up into two or something weird like that. Alright, oh, dang it, one of those guys. Go away, you. I have broken through. That is so nice to have, and especially in this stage, because now I don't need to use a Storm Tornado to accomplish that end. Shoot, oh wait, yeah. So I need to wait for one of those other guys, but other than that, this jump should be a little bit easier now. A little bit less precise with it. Yeah, because I would hit my head there and possibly had an issue, but now that I've got the head power up... Whoa, 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 <laughs> I forgot, I forgot. That was all on me if I died there. Uh, oh, yeah, flame pillar. Oops. I know where the HP power-up was approximately located, which is good. I didn't, oops. I see that coming. I knew where the HP power-up in vanilla was approximately located, and I'm getting to the point where I have to start searching for it. I tried to do the double jump thing. No. I think the ceiling is worse than hitting the guy. This is bad, I'm wasting all my HP on stupid chumps. I do not have a lot of HP left, I better start playing this a little bit more cautiously. Homing Tornado him. Homing Tornado? Homing Torpedo. He's not dead yet. Uh, well, one of these guys takes like half my arm arsenal. Alright, so... There's a good chance it would be over here in this-ish direction. That thing busted a hole through, I can now... I just seriously don't remember this area existing at all. Aha, I see a thing. It's enclosed in an area again, so yeah, I think I really do need the blade cutter to be able to get it. I don't think I can fire it downward. If that's lava, if... I'm not sure if that tile is going to count as lava, though. It looks like there might be a little bit of lava above it. But I can't even jump in this area to try and make it go downward. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> that's good. And now, the other stage. Well, I derped that up. Which is a shame because I still haven't hit the checkpoint. But I have as much HP as I'm going to get. My armor upgrade as well. No, wait, not as much HP as I'm going to get. I forgot the smart mandrel I just mentioned, but. Oh, no, wait, I did get his. So, yeah, I'm only missing the one other thing in that stage. One more energy tank. If I can find the energy tank here, and I am right about Mark Mandrel's location of it, I will have actually found absolutely everything, if except the question, 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 which is probably, like, super hidden. It's probably a severe guy, dang it, that I'm not going to be able to figure out without actually knowing vanilla a lot better than I have. Storm Tornado this place. Because, as I said, I found almost nothing in vanilla, nor did I really need to. I just kind of did my thing and found almost nothing. But I'm really glad I found the sub-tanks in vanilla at least, because the final boss was actually pretty challenging. I'm kind of scared of this game's final boss, to be honest. But I am going to be much more prepared, at the very least. I'm going to have, well, only as much sub-tanks as last, that, that's last time that I think about it. I hate these guys and their home pickaxes. When did they get so good at Minecraft? Let's take the top right this time. Just for kicks and giggles. Or was there even a route up here? Or was this just an HP power up? Oh, hang on. Is this something? Oh, there. I see blocks over there! Nice! I may have found it just by, uh. 
don't know. Oh, yep. Heart Hunt, you're playing with my emotions here. It's just a roller coaster. Oh, I found it. Oh, I didn't find it. Oh, I found it. I'm gonna have to... That would have been really cool, I have to admit, if I had somehow managed to do the uh, tricky jump thing. Well, uh, I could have just left, you know, instead of killing myself and adding one to the death counter. <laughs> I found everything, it was all in the first half of the level, which I'm glad about because the second half of the level was the really challenging part. Oh, I actually... wait, I have all four sub-tanks? How did that... am I... Imagining something? The tank sub. I swear I didn't find anything in the stage. How do I have all four? D did I just forget? So I did find the sub tank in Spark Mandrel, but where on earth was it? I do not remember that at all, I swear. Well, that means I found absolutely everything except the question, question, question. In an hour and seven minutes, which is actually the time frame I was kind of hoping for for this segment. I was kind of nervous that I wouldn't be able to hit, but... Should I go back and look for that? Uh, might as well take at least one extra go. Nah, I don't know. I could, we could watch a fail at Armored Armadillo for old time's sake. Anything cool and nifty that I've got? I don't really think any of that card's gonna help. Yep, I'm dead. Well, uh, I guess that calls the quits for that segment. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to find our friend the question, 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 so... Not on my own, not of my own ability at any rate. With the prowess of the internet at my side, potentially, but. Well, on to Sigma soon.